grab your sun cream and your swimming trunks because today we're talking about a place that's very dear to me, Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a British overseas territory in southern Spain, which means it's under the jurisdiction of the United Kingdom, but it's not technically part of it. Gibraltar is the third smallest country in the world with around 30,000 residents. The official currency of Gibraltar is the pound. You can spend notes on coins from the UK in the territory, but you can't use the locally produced notes or coins back in the United Kingdom. The official language of Gibraltar is English, but there's an unofficial language called Llanito, which is a combination of English, Spanish, and even some Italian mixed in. Did you know that there's basically no tax on goods in Gibraltar? <laughs> I know, pretty fantastic, right? Gibraltar is one of the two pillars of Hercules. The other is in Morocco, 24 kilometers away on the African side of the Strait of Gibraltar. The iconic rock was formed approximately 200 million years ago and is made out of Jurassic limestone. Casemate Square, the main square in the town, was named after the type of barracks in the vicinity and the square itself was a parade ground and site for public executions. Catalan Bay is named after the group of Catalans who fished in the area. Strangely enough, the first Nathander of Skull was found in Gibraltar, Forbes Quarry, in 1848. Now, Gibraltar is well known for their apes, but did you know that there is a legend that says if the macaques ever left Gibraltar, so will the British? Even so, Winston Churchill imported a number of apes from Morocco during the Second World War because the prime ape population was decreasing on the rock. Gibraltar isn't just home to these iconic apes though, but dolphins too, like bottlenose, common and striped dolphins. Although never used, St. Michael's Cave was prepared as an emergency hospital during the Second World War. There is also a legend that there's a secret natural tunnel from Gibraltar to Morocco deep in the cave. Would be cheaper than getting the ferry, that's for sure. Admiral Lord Nelson lost his life in the Battle of Trafalgar in October 1805. But did you know that the victory was towed back and repaired in Gibraltar? Talking about famous people, John Lennon married Yoko Ono in Gibraltar in 1969. This was only a couple of months before the border was closed by Francisco Franco, before reopening for pedestrians in 1982 and reopened fully in 1985. Gibraltar celebrates National Day on September the 10th. Each year they release 30,000 red and white balloons, one for every citizen. The Gibraltar Anthem is the national song of Gibraltar and was chosen in a competition in 1994. The governor of Gibraltar's official resident is the convent, as one of the few remaining Spanish buildings in Gibraltar. Most Spanish buildings were destroyed during the Great Siege of 1779 to 1783. Like most places in the world, Gibraltar loves football and in 2013 the GFA was accepted as a full UEFA member and in 2016 accepted as a full FIFA member. I hope you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe, it's free and it helps us a lot. Till next time, thanks for watching and I hope you have a lovely day.